Hello everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we're playing some more Total War Warhammer. Uh, things are going okay. They're not great. We're, 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 we're basically trying to finish off these green skins to the south so we can focus more on the north. And the thing is, like, I really don't want to do a whole lot in the north. I really just need to take out, I think, these three provinces. And then I think... Actually, I want to look at this map. Can I actually see how many provinces... How much do they have? Yeah, they only have three settlements. Uh, what are the greenskins? The greenskins have nine settlements still? Holy crap. You know what's hilarious, though? Is if I come here to Diplomacy, and we look at uh, the Red Eye, they are... Well, actually, their strength is 30th. I thought they were a lot higher. How much are the greenskins, then? They're 10. Eh. Can I actually... Who... Uh, strength rank. Of what I know, I am 2. The vampires have now fallen to 4. Empire is 8. Greenskins are 10. Border Princes are 12. Beric Var is 32. Are you still being siege, Beric Var? One of my favorite things about games like this is actually... Yep, you're getting sieged again. <laughs> oh, man. Now, what's funny is I don't think the humans can actually take this. But they could destroy it. But because it's a dwarf settlement, I don't think the humans can actually um, uh, live there. So, if they want to destroy it, I'm okay with it. Because I'll just go and, you know, take it back. Uh, the other question is, do we want to finish off this settlement? I think we probably do. Because we're not at war with anyone else. So I think when we get this, we're going to want to move and take Doc Cause. And then hopefully, we may just have to declare war on Beric Var and take it ourselves. Honestly. Where are... They have another one here. And that... Uh, I just... I need to piece them out is what I need to do. Uh, but we still got a little bit of time till they siege... Four turns until they surrender. So they're actually probably taking damage now then? No. But they will be taking damage this turn. Ready the ox heads! I love them. I love the dwarves. These are so fun, the dwarves. The humans are really fun too. This game is fun. Let's just let's just remember that. Um, do I want to piece these guys out for the time being? Well, here's the thing. I have to go to war. I have to hit that one guy hard. Um, whoever it was, Smoltz or whatever that dude was, because I have the grudge. So I think if I peace out, that's probably going to, I don't know, not sit well with my Dwarven buddies. You just stay the heck away from my settlements. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's fine. Go, go, go fight the humans. I'm cool with that. Hmm. Are you the guy I'm seeking? Red Fangs have been obliterated. Uh, yeah, they're still raiding. I don't really care. Are you the guy I need to kill? No. You're big boss. Question is, where is he? Whoa, these are vamp? Oh! Okay. Also, holy crap, these guys look scary. But the vampires popped out because the public order was so negative. Um, and it's actually going up now, plus 20. Why is it going up so much? Malcontents leaving for the rebellion. So, interesting. So they had the rebellion pop, but then they get a massive bonus to um, obedience because of the rebellions. They have 14 turns until they surrender. We're actually at war with them? Huh. Just be I guess it's rebels, so everyone's at war with rebels, I guess. It's just like EU4. Uh, we now can afford to build our new building, which is not the Shrine Slayer, the Engineer's Workshop. Cool. We can also then afford, let's see, what are we going to make? We're going to make, thir actually, you know what, we should probably turn this off. Taxes. So we can keep going positive. Although we could keep making money, but what are we going to be at? Um, 34, 4,400. So 4,400... Actually, can I bump up public order down here? That would actually make life wonderful. This is going to give me, what, plus five public order? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then I can just keep taxing you guys. It's going to take two turns, but we'll be fine. And we'll be at plus three then when it finishes. Yeah, totally okay with that. Are we taxing you guys? No. We can be, though. We're 276. But we're still at negative, so I'd rather get you up positive. Now, I forgot. Each town is a little different, right? Right? 
22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you guys, yeah, still, because we're just, uh, I need to get that reduction going. I always forget over here that I actually own this land. <laughs> okay, so where did my hero go? Okay, you're still taking freaking forever because you're a dwarf. Can I get you a horse, man? And it's actually losing corruption. The big thing is I need that vampiric corruption to go down. Also, the border princes have spread up here. And I wonder if I can actually... Is this a dwarf settlement? It won't actually tell me, but I'm pretty sure that's a dwarf settlement. So I can actually probably land here. Karak is there. Karak Hill I have not seen yet. Interesting. Who else are the border princes at war with? You are at war with the Crooked Moon and Bergvar. Okay. Deliver your message. Are we trading? We are trading. I'm assuming we're trading with everyone near us. Carrick Hill, you guys are dwarves. Uh my throng stands ready. Non-aggression pack. Sounds good. Take it. Then military access would be great. How about a defensive alliance? Damn. How about just military access then? All right, I'll take that. Now what about defensive alliance? Okay, just trying. <laughs> we are trading with them, so that's okay. Uh, Averland, I don't really I listen, know if I've seen you. But let's do non-aggression, definitely. I will do military access as well. Just for the heck of it. And we're currently trading. I don't know why you're trading, like what makes you start trading with someone, I don't know. We could do trade agreement, but they're not likely. Welcome to mine realm, let no man say others, for his mine lands you tread upon. Why do you keep seeing mine? Empire, are we trading with you? We are trading with you. I don't care about Crooked Moon. I think that's okay for now. Who is to my south? Border Princes. Crooked Moon, Bloody Hands. Crooked Moon's all over the place, man. Oh, wait. There's two different Crooked Moons. Huh. Matif Snatchers. These guys have kind of snuck in here a little bit. I'm pretty sure they're at war with each other. As long as they want to keep fighting each other down, I'm okay with that. Now, they should be hurt. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. They're all under less than half. I'm hoping that we can kill off their siege machines. Um this turn that would be nice there's nothing else we're trying to do we used up our money um Time for a reckoning. is it worth recruiting another guy long beards long beards long beards i think it is maybe some dwarf warriors we really don't have any dwarf warriors down here uh, will be settled. it's gonna take a little bit of time and a lot more money than it should but just get our army leveled up Now, we probably need to be looking at getting um, units that are armor killers, armor piercing to fight these orcs. Okay, so we got uh, Master of Steel. Basically, we'll save money when we do recruitment. I don't really care. God dang it. Drac attack. A Chaos Dragon is attacking the hold. The cursed Drac will eventually be fended off by dwarf holds. Considerable defenses, but not before substantial loss of Dwali life. So... Negative growth, and they damaged some buildings. Oh, of course. <laughs> 16 gold. 30 gold. Not too bad. Uh, how is my... You guys are all full HP. You guys are all full HP. Okay, cool. This corruption's killing me, though. So, speaking of corruption, we now have you. Oh, and he's actually raising. So you should now be lowering... Right? Deploy Let's hero. Yes. Modifies public order by negative five. Discourages populace. Uh, okay, so apparently this is not my land. No. Yeah, okay. Okay, so technically, we just lowered public order for um, 
for the Border Princess. Hey, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I bet he doesn't like me as much right now. I bet there's a negative to this, right? Where's my relations? Hello. Can I see where our relations are at? Greetings. We may not be the Empire, but our realm has riches and strength in equal measure. I actually like them a lot. Like, I would, it would be fun to actually play as these guys. I can't actually see where our relations are. Yeah, there we go. So, a version... So, actually, no, they don't, they're not mad. They're not mad at me. All right, that's fine. Uh, we need new things, so we're going to take plus 15 because we're trying to get to public order plus one. Mm, and how goes this? We don't have enough gold, I don't think, to really build anything. So, uh, now we need a couple more turns. I love how it actually shows you you can build stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think I want to spend my money on that right now. Because I'm just trying to get my stuff upgraded. You're getting the mustering hall. I don't really know what you can build at this point. Gate? Because you built... I mean, I, oh yeah, we're gonna, we were thinking about the trading depot. But really what I want is I want 6,000 for the forge. So... We are gonna be just shy. Actually, they'll be 5,000. So yeah, we're gonna be pretty shy. Pretty far from being there actually so you know what screw it let's go build the trading thing while we're here that's just gonna give me more money it's gonna take two turns anyways so we might as well take two turns although here's the thing we're probably gonna conquer them before too long uh, i need to find that one dude so i can go kick his butt too yeah and our grudges is actually starting to slowly take up which scares me a little bit i wonder if actually conquering is going to improve it like right away God, you're so freaking slow. I'm not even kidding. Like, I hate how slow they are. Uh, it's also really weird to get through these lands. You're still at 12 turns. I mean, really? I just need to send my units up to go find them and kill them because I think I'd be okay. But I really want my second army for that because, like, you can see we're at some pretty crappy public order right now. And I don't exactly... I'm, I'm afraid about taking him out and then being snuck around again. Hmm. I think I think we just gotta be patient. We just gotta let the grudges stick up. It's okay. We shouldn't be facing any more grudges, I guess, is the point. Okay, so they got one turn left. And they're pretty damaged. So, yeah, we're just gonna continue. We're just gonna wait that last turn out. Uh, Money-wise, we're saving it. We're going to be at 6,000 next turn, so we'll be okay. Don't want to spend any money. They're currently um, attacking me with what they have left. So what's interesting is they won't, uh, like, they're not going to just straight surrender. They're going to try attacking with the little units they have. So this should be, honestly, I'm kind of like, let's just auto-resolve. How long has this episode gone for? I, I mean, it's fun to actually fight. Yeah, screw it. Let's buy a battle. Like, I enjoy fighting. It's also fun to actually fight when you are know you're going to, like, kick their butt. <laughs> and you know what? They do have these guys here that I hadn't seen yet. So this would be kind of good to actually, you know, check them out. And once again, I want to move probably further back just a little bit. Because we got a little bit... We don't need to be quite so far forward. And this is cool. I've never actually seen this map before. I want to be just in... Yeah, just like that. Should be pretty good. We're going to put you guys right here. I can't actually see because of the freaking snow. Um, we're going to put you guys at one. Put you guys right here. You guys are all two. Three. Nope. That, get, uh, okay, three, four. Okay, we're good. And then two, let's go ahead and put you guys spread out here. It doesn't really matter. Let's just keep you a little more close. Um, We don't have any miners, so <laughs> didn't have to worry about our flanks. 
These guys are all, like, I mean, they have, like, three or four guys, so, yeah. Orc Archer Boys, Archer Boys, Orc Archer Boys, Black Orcs. Armored and Armor Piercing. They have 110 armor. Dang, man. Okay, let's compare that to our regular Dwarf Warriors. They actually have 20 more armor than me. A little less leadership, better speed, better melee attack, less melee defense, significantly worse melee defense. Huh, I didn't realize I had that good melee defense. Uh, weapon strength is uh, better, and they have a way better charge bonus. But keep in mind, that's like their top tier unit. That's one of their top tier units. Probably be compared, comparative to my longbeards. But, oof. Oh, yeah, because they're hurt. They have a little more armor, a little less leadership, a little more speed, a little more melee attack, a lot less melee defense, better weapon, better charge. Yeah, so they're kind of comparative then to my longbeards. Also, oh, I'm bringing in more units. Eh. If we could actually destroy this, that would be wonderful. Where, where are we coming at? Oh, we're just coming straight from over here. I want you guys to just come kill here. Just run. Just run and kill that. Because they're coming in from the side. Please kill it. Ah, dang it. I can't freaking hit it. Because it's only one thing. I mean, it's not like I really have to worry about their dudes. I'm just worried about them doing just that. Like, killing my guys. Ugh, freaking artillery, man. All right, I got one of their dudes. <laughs> now they're actually throwing rocks. Interesting. Let's compare their, I wanna compare these. So they do, they have less armor, less leadership, less melee, less melee, less weapon. They actually have less range too. Come on guys. I have two of you freaking coming in here. Can we just not, like, finish him off? I hate the low accuracy. It sucks, but, you know, it's one of those things. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Finish them off. See, now we're shooting at these guys, which doesn't really matter much because we have all these dudes. Ow. Ow. Are these... Orc Borb, the boars. All right, we're actually getting really close to killing my guy. Uh, okay, so we totally fucked that up. That's okay, because there's only like two guys left. Oh, well, sweet, we just killed them all. <laughs> ah, all right then, that works. All right, get back in this position. I can't see anything because of the freaking, like, like, I can't see my arrows because of the white snow. It's kind of annoying. Can you please hit? Please hit. Oh, that's... No. Damn. Oh. No. Yeah, there it was. I have, like, 15 people shooting at this thing and can't for the life of me hit it. All right, so then I need, um, since they're all here, just go blow up these dudes. And we want three... Blow up these dudes. They're already retreating. They're shattered and they hadn't even got to me yet. Oh, these are the black orcs. Alright, well, they retreated. So, let's just go do this for the time being. Now let's have you guys just like kind of surround these guys. And we're just going to speed the crap out of this. I don't really care. Like I said, I think we're just going to capture them. Hopefully we can just get a couple free kills here to level up my units. <laughs> He's so fast. He's so cute. Can I ever get him on a better mount, I wonder? Probably not. I love the freaking Demi Griffins. They're amazing. Come on, baby. Wait, why'd you stop? Dang it, you were actually quicker. 
And then he just randomly stops. Where's the edge? I can't even see the freaking edge marker. There it is, because of stupid snow. Uh. No, you. Come on. I believe you can actually get this dude. I'm hoping we can kill this one archer. That's my only goal at this point. Come on. Run, little dwarfs. Run, dwarfs. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah! Oh, we just ran him over. That that felt good. Actually, hey, we could get this guy because he's running the wrong direction. Maybe? No, now he turned around. All right, we're good. In battle. <sighs> so we lost 14 and 10. How do we lose 10 over here? Whatever. It's fine. They only had 10 guys remaining. Freaking, man, 22 kills for the freaking artillery. God, artillery is annoying. Okay, so... Yes, we want to occupy... Oh, yeah, that was on their turn. That wasn't even on my turn. <laughs> uh, call to arms, your ally. The Thief Snatchers. Dude, I am sorry, man. We've attained complete control of the province. Sounds good. Um, we now have to fight the green screen. Why? Because he mobbed and sacked a dwarf hold. Okay. Okay, so the gods are angry. Tribute, and we get plus pub four public order. I gotta take it. I know we needed that, that gold, but I have to do it. And we also gained a banner, armor piercing damage. Okay, cool. We got a weapon, okay. Not bad. So who's this dude that I have to go fight now? It looks like he was another one of these dudes. My grudge book. Oh! So wait, did we fail that grudge? I am kind of confused. Grudge aborted. Okay. Well, that's fine, because it just lowered her severity. Yeah, I'm actually totally okay with that. I'm assuming he must have died then. Um, so then do I want to piece out the green skins? I think I do. Although, like I said, it might be worth it for me to come take this and then move on. So, let us take you. Let's get you in rush. Let's get you going this way. We're going to put you then in here. For now. We're going to go take this. And then probably go back north. Now the question is, are they actually willing to piece me out right now? I'd assume so, because I've been kicking their butt. Eh, moderate. Still, they have not brought anything my way for quite a while. Um. Wow, 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 wow. This, we need to spend a lot of money down here upgrading crap. Huh, get a gate right away, that's cool. Uh, trading depot, I mean, we want the gold mining pit, 600 for a thousand. Yeah, I'm going to do that because we're still going to be able to make 6,000. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get our 6,000 because we had to spend 1,000 to appease the gods, which means I wasn't able to build... What am I trying to build over here for 6,000? Yeah, the forge for the runesmith. Do we really need the forge? Uh, Wait, we're building the engineer's workshop. So actually, we want to upgrade this. We actually want 6,700 is what we need. Hmm. We can now make uh, plus three, plus three, plus three. So we don't need public order. We're not actually taxing. I'm going to actually go ahead and tax. And then let's take the public order. Growth tax rate. Yeah, let's take the public order for now. Then you guys are currently doing great on public order. You guys are getting taxed. You guys are getting reduction in corruption. Your public order is okay, though. And no, it's not. It's still pretty high. 
Negative 45, that's ridiculous. Okay, so let's move you into our land. And now let's have you deploy. And what is he actually doing? Deploy hero. Increase public order. How can I not? Why is he not? Corruption, public order. A high level corruption can cause attrition. Okay. You know what? We're going to call this an episode, and I'm going to go figure out how the heck to get my dwarf to reduce corruption. Because I thought it said that he could do this. Cleanse corruption. How do I do that? <laughs> Alright, I have no idea. We're going to go look. I'm going to go Google this. I will see you guys next episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, go and comment, let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys next time. You know what? I don't think it's worth the extra 500. Let's get positive. You know, we can wait another couple turns. So, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye!